All right, uh, the next topic is the so-called harmonic series. So harmonic series is a particular series uh, whose entries are just one over n. Uh, and so notice that the limit of the its entries is just zero. And uh, it is famous because uh, even though its entries approach zero, it is still nevertheless divergent. Now, th there are some cool applications of the harmonic series. So uh, one that I can think about is the so-called block stacking problem. Let, let me show it to you. So this is, I mean, you, you can just read it in Wikipedia later if, you, if you're interested. So block stacking problem. Basically, the idea is that if you have a number of blocks, so is it possible to put them, stack them on top of uh, each other to maximize the overhead, right? So to, and the, the solution to, to, to this is the, basically is the harmonic series. So well, the one half of the harmonic series. So partial sum of the harmonic series. And uh, the, the fact that um, the harmonic series diverges tells you that if you have an unlimited supply of blocks, then it means that the um, overhang can be made unlimited in this problem. So basically, it's kind of cool. So I thought I, I should share the, this with you. So now, uh, how do we uh, prove that the harmonic series is divergent? It's kind of cool. So it's also a very, very neat idea. So the idea is that we're going to compute to, not to compute, but to estimate uh, the partial sums. So here it's impossible to compute partial sums explicitly, but it is possible to estimate the partial sum. We're going to, um, to to look at partial sums with index, which is a power of two, like S1, S2, S4, S8, S16, and so on. So basically we are going to look at partial sums with index two, two to the N or two to the K. And we will see that if, if we look at partial sums whose index is growing exponentially, then uh, the partial sums themselves are growing linearly, but they are still unbounded. So which means that uh, if you assume that for a moment that the harmonic series diverges and it sums S, so then it will not be possible because we can make partial sums bigger than any given number. I mean, by just taking uh, a large enough power of two. And here is here is why, right? So if we have the first, first partial sum is just one, the second is just one plus one half. So here we don't do anything. Now the fourth partial sum is, is the following. So here we add these uh, two extra terms, one third and one quarter. Now we're going to, to have a little trick. So if we replace one third with one, one quarter, then we're going to get something that is smaller, right? But one quarter plus one quarter is, is really just two quarters. So two times one quarter, which is one half. Okay, so it means that the fourth partial sum is bigger than one half plus one half plus one half. So it's two times one half. Now, if you look at eighth partial sum, right? So then this, the, the sum of it, it includes the fourth partial sum. So we know that one third plus one quarter is bigger than one half, right? So it's bigger than one half. But also if you look at these four terms, then again, so every one of them is bigger than one eighth. Well, except for the last one. So the last one is exactly one eighth, right? So by the, the, the sum of the, these terms, well, by the way, the, the signs here are strictly bigger actually. So strictly bigger than uh, four times one over eight, which is one half, right? So the, the, the sum of these, these terms is again, bigger than one half. And basically you, you, you get the idea so that every time you add, um, you, you go to partial sums, which index by powers of two. So every time you add like uh, a stack of very small terms, but if you add them all together, then, then you will get something that is bigger uh, than, than one half. And by, kind of continuing in the same fashion. So we, we can see that the partial sum indexed by two to the N is bigger than or equal, well, it's actually strictly bigger, but yeah, whatever, it does, doesn't matter. So bigger than uh, one plus N over two, right? And it means that it cannot be, the, the limit of uh, SN cannot be finite because if it were finite, then, you know, it, we would get a contradiction since um, by taking 
bigger values of n, we can make it as big as well any number and bigger than any number. All right. So, we, which basically means that uh, the limit of the sequence of partial sums is infinite, which means that the, the series diverges. Uh, 